Hello, BBHCSD parents and students. I am Kelly Lazar, Director of the Community Awareness and Prevention Association. Hi, I'm Cheryl Stopar, CAPA Project Coordinator. Hello, I'm Samantha Malik, and I'm the Program Assistant for CAPA. Hello, my name is Jessica Moritz, and I am the CAPA intern. CAPA is a local drug-free community coalition that was founded in 1989. It's a unique collaboration between the cities of Brexville and Broadview Heights and the Brexville Broadview Heights School District. CAPA is committed to improving the overall health and wellness of our children, youth, and adults, promoting awareness and education of substance abuse and misuse, and to provide guidance and intervention and resources to those in need. We are going to be discussing several topics, the first being parental monitoring. It is important now more than ever that parents know what their children are doing and who they are with, both online and offline. It is equally important that parents have regular conversation with their children about the use of alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. Though it might not seem like it, your children do hear your concerns and they want to meet the expectations that you set for them. Studies have shown that raising a successful child means expecting great things from them that will support their ability to thrive. Also, having a support network of other parents that are like-minded can reinforce your expectations when your children are visiting with friends. It's essential to ensuring your child's overall health and wellness. If at any time you have concerns about your child or you just need someone to process with, we are here for you. For you. Now we are going to hear about other exciting opportunities for your children at the middle school. Hello and welcome to the middle school. We are excited to meet your students and to have the opportunity to work with them over the next four years. Transitions can create a mix of emotions, as I would guess many parents and fifth grade students alike may be experiencing. As a parent of a 2019 BBH graduate, I want to ensure you that BBHMS embraces a culture that fosters happiness, fun, and fantastic learning experiences. Please encourage your student to try new experiences and join in on opportunities that are available to them here at the middle school. Research suggests that school involvement provides all students, including at risk and gifted students, an academic safety net that fosters a sense of belonging. Furthermore, a report from the CDC states, students who are involved with school clubs and activities are more likely to achieve academic success stay in school longer, and are less likely to experiment with tobacco, alcohol, and other drugs. During fifth grade orientation tomorrow morning, members from Huddle Junior, an eighth grade peer-led leadership group, will be here and eager to assist you and your student with any questions. They will be happy to walk you and your student through their fifth grade schedule, help with locker combinations, and direct you to the right place for any other questions or concerns you may have. Please do not hesitate to ask for a Huddle Junior member. They are excited to welcome you and help out in any way they can. Next, we're going to hear about Ohio vaping legislation. As you may be aware, the state of Ohio passed legislation on Tobacco 21. As of October 17, 2019, it is illegal to give sell or otherwise distribute cigarettes and other tobacco products or alternative nicotine products like e-cigarettes or vaping products to any person under the age of 21 years. Tobacco products included, but are not limited to cigars, chewing tobacco, pipes, and liquids that are used in electronic smoking devices. The Tobacco 21 passage came at a pivotal time in public health as we began to see an emerging public health crisis with youth use of electronic cigarettes throughout the state and locally in Cuyahoga County. According to the CDC, in Ohio in 2017, 19.5% of high school youth reported currently using any tobacco product, including e-cigarettes. Local data specific to Cuyahoga County 
that was obtained by the Prevention Research Center for Healthy Neighborhoods has demonstrated that 15.7% of high school students in 2018 used an electronic vapor product. In addition, 10.1% of middle school students in 2017 used electronic vapor product as well. Electronic vapor products include Juul, Blue, Soren, Enjoy, and Puff Bar. A common myth is that electronic vapor products only contain harmless vapor. This is not true. Electronic vapor products deliver nicotine and flavors through an inhaled aerosol that is emitted when, ex emitted when exhaled. In addition to nicotine, electronic vapor products include other harmful chemicals, including heavy metals, such as nickel, tin, lead, and other cancer-causing chemicals. Use of electronic cigarette products and exposure to nicotine can negatively impact the physical and mental health of children and teenagers. Nicotine is highly addictive and can impair brain development, memory, and concentration. In addition, the harmful aerosol can cause damage to the lungs and increase the risk for developing respiratory illnesses. Unfortunately, our children are frequently targeted by big tobacco through the use of flavored tobacco products. Many e-cigarettes are available in a variety of flavors such as fruit, candy, and desserts, such as mango, sweet tarts, and creme brulee. National surveys amongst youth have found that flavors are the primary reason for youth re reports using an e-cigarette. In light of COVID-19, research has been conducted to understand if tobacco use can increase the risk for COVID-19. A recent study released by the Journal of Adolescent Health in June of 2020 has concluded that COVID-19 is associated with youth use of electronic cigarettes only, as well as dual use of electronic cigarettes and cigarettes. In other words, tobacco use can be an underlying risk factor for, for COVID-19. Since the state has observed a dramatic increase in the number of adolescents and teenagers becoming addicted to nicotine, there has been an increase in resources specific to youth to help with support and tobacco cessation. My Life, My Quit is one great resource for adolescents and teenagers. This program combines best practices for youth tobacco cessation adapted to include vaping and new ways to reach a coach using live text messages or online chat. To enroll, teenagers and adolescents can text or call 1-855-891-9989 or visit mylifemyquit.com. If you ever have any questions or concerns, please contact us. Our Facebook and Twitter pages for resources, CAPA events, and important announcements and updates on public health policy and drug and alcohol prevention. Hello. Oh. Hello, my name is Jessica Moritz, and like I said, I am the CAPA intern. I go to school at Case Western Reserve University at the Mindell School. I am here to provide mental health support and resources for both students and their families. Thank you so much. And again, we are here to help in any way we can. Please feel free to contact us. and we will respond as fast as we can. Have a great day and thank you so much.